Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Hello, How you doing? Hello, Daniel. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Liliana. Hello, Ronald. Welcome back, everybody. Is it raining where you live? Is it raining where you live? Yes, teacher. All right. It's raining here. Okay, over here too. Nice. Good evening. Um, hey, hello, Samuel. Welcome back. We're going to start with a little review. We're going to review a little bit about what we looked at last week, just so that we can connect the information that we have been looking at. Okay. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. In the morning. In the morning. A.M. In the morning. Noon. Noon. P.M. P.M. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. P.M. In the evening. In the evening. Evening. P.M. At night. At night. Midnight. P.M. Midnight. Let's practice the time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's ten o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. In this class, we discover how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, so this is the video that we were watching in the previous class. Este es el video que vimos en la clase anterior. Today, I would like for us to go ahead and look at the following section, which is coming from section number 5.4, instructions. Look at the clocks and select two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Instrucciones. Observe los relojes y seleccione las dos posibles respuestas correctas de las horas que se muestran en cada reloj. All right, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. I can't teach you. Samuel, number two, Samuel, what time is it? What time is it? It's It's 6.50. It's six fifty. Okay, it's six fifty. It's, it's ten to seven. It's ten to seven. Awesome, awesome. Eh, una una pregunta. El tú qué qué significa? Sería en español sería verdad eh, diez para las siete. Okay, it's ten to seven. Uh huh. So el tú es como el para las siete. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Samuel. All right, number three, Daniel. Um. Okay. Is um, number three, Daniel. See. It's nine forty-five. It's nine forty-five. Forty-five. Mm -hmm. 
it's uh, quarter, no. It's quarter to nine. It's quarter to nine, very good. Excellent. So we say it's 8.45. Eight, 45. Or it's a quarter to nine, good. Thank Perfect. you, Daniel. The next one, Liliana Yamilet. What time is it? And it's 11.05. It's 11.05. Thank you. And it's 5 past 11. And it's 5 past 11. Good job, Liliana. Thank you. Number five, please, Marcos Alberto. Hi, good evening. Good evening. It's uh, quarter past four. It's no, a. Excuse me, excuse me. It's a quarter past three. It's Number a one. quarter past three. It's three fifteen. It's a quarter past, it's a quarter past three. It's 3.15. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Marcos. Thanks, thanks. Uh, let me have Michael, number six. Michael, number six. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Four thirty. It's four thirty. Okay. And it's how it's half past four. It's half past four. Good. Okay. Good job, guys. I see that everybody understands how to express the time. Any questions in regards to this section? Any questions in regards to this section? Questions, questions? Nothing, nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at section number 5.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender la entonación creciente y decreciente en las preguntas con respuestas cortas sí y no y preguntas interrogativas WH. Let's listen to the video and then we are going to practice together. Hi everyone. In this class you learn about rising and falling intonation. Can everybody yes hear? Or no questions. Can everybody hear? Questions. Yes, teacher. Let's okay. get yes, started. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? 
are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, now let's take a look at the first one. What are one. they doing? Repeat, please. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are, are they sleeping? Are, are they, are they, are they, they sleeping? sleeping? Okay, so, si la pregunta eh, es una pregunta cerrada, que empiece okay. con is o are, eh, la entonación es para arriba al final de la pregunta. Is she getting up? Are she they she sleeping? Is she getting up? Right, el final es como cantadito. Sleeping. Pero cuando la pregunta empieza con doble UH, what, where, when, how, why, who, la, entona, ajá, la pregunta es una pregunta abierta, pero la pronunciación es down. El énfasis es en el what. Y la pronunciación al final es baja. What's she doing? What are they doing? Any questions? Okay, aquí quiero que se grabe en Vocaroo diciendo los dos tipos de pregunta. Eh, pregunta cerrada y pregunta abierta. Y después va a poner acá la grabación. En este momento puede practicar la grabación antes de grabarse en Boca Roo. Ready, let's go. Okay. ¿Cómo sería la la la? Yo no tengo la la. La plataforma. Ajá. Ya no me sale a mí quiero ver. Yo quizás aquí en el teléfono. Escuela y son 26 niveles de básico. <ríe> ánimo, ánimo. Pero ahorita, <ríe> pero ahorita. Sin querer me metí ahí que cuánto era, quiero ver. Ahí, comenz, ya ahí comenzamos, así que ya vamos avanzados. Sí. Vamos sí, no, ahí. ¿Cuál no, es no. El, el, el número que estamos viendo ahorita? ¿Cinco punto cuál? Cinco punto cuatro, creo que es ahorita, quiero ver. Cuatro. Pero, ¿y de dónde vamos es... a grabar? Cinco punto seis. Seis, ok, aquí estamos entonces. Aquí mismo creo que vamos a pronunciar y grabar, porque está grabando, o sea, pero sí, no. Sí, en boca, la, la Ay, aplicación. Ah, Hay eh. que meterse ahí. Ah, y, o sea, vamos a grabar las preguntas. Is she getting up, getting up? Esa sería. Are they sleeping? Sí, sí, esas mismas, hay que repasarlas. ¿Serán estas? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Pero para... 5.6. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer para esa aplicación Bocaro? Ajá, correcto. Ahí parece que Samuel escuchó más. 
eh, vamos a grabarlos ahí y después lo vamos a subir quizás en, en cada una de nuestras discussions. Buscaro.com era, ¿verdad? Ajá. Les envío el enlace por... Ah, si se puede, por favor. Que... Por WhatsApp, ahí ¿Qué? se lo puede mandar. Ah, claro. Creo que aquí lo tenía en el buscador también. Buscaro. Buscaro. Crece. Hey, how you doing, Sandy? You over here by yourself? Hello, Sandy. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hey. I I see Sam. All right. Let me go ahead and put you in another group. Finished. Everybody finished. Hello. Ready action. Is is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, is she getting up? Será que se grabó. Ahorita vamos a ver. Sí. Más o menos, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí se escucha bien. Uh -huh. ah, yo no Quizás escucho. decirlo un poco más fuerte, más fuerte. Ajá, ¿quiere intentar otra vez, Silvia? Va. Ok. El rojo tengo que apretar, ¿verdad? Este, yo creo que lo estoy grabando. Permítame, vamos a darle otra vez. Este, aquí cuando le doy y comienza la cuenta de uno, dos, tres. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Sí, no lo grabé. Detuve el... el, el, el... <risa> Vamos a ver si se escucha otra vez. ¿Qué? Lo que quería no, si quieres, era, Samuel, que lo grabe. Era pasárselos por el, el chat individual. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para que lo vayan, lo metan en su en sus propios eh, discussions. Bueno, si quieres, Samuel, este le doy acá. Me dice si está listo para grabar. Y ahí ahorita Ready. para. Ok, ahorita diría Samuel, va, va a grabar Samuel. Bueno. Ese que he puesto en el chat ahí es el suyo, Silvia. Ajá. Ok, Samuel. Uno, Ready. dos, tres. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Okay, lo vamos a escuchar. Yes. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Ajá, se escucha bien. Okay, excelente. Vaya, entonces voy a compartir este. El segundo es de Samuel. ¿Y a dónde lo compartió? En el chat de la reunión. Ahí abajo un, una burbujita que dice chat. Ahí ábralo y ahí oh. ya aparece un link. Y lo copian y lo pegan en su, en su discussion. Uh -huh. Yesenia. Are you doing here or not? No sé si Yesenia tenía problemas. Hola, hola, ya llego por ahí. 
voy a intentarlo yo entonces y después Yesenia tal vez se nos va mire que ver. tengo que ir a, es que dejé olvidado mis lentes y me, la vecina me los tiene así que voy a ir a traerlos okay, ya voy a regresar Ajá. porque si no no veo bien <ríe> ok está bien Silvia Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer read the questions. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer read the questions. Teacher, solo comentarle que yo no pude conectarme a la plataforma, no sé, hay alguna dificultad, pero no he podido ni con mi teléfono ni, ni en el laptop. Le comento porque no, no pude hacer el, el ejercicio. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, let me have somebody that did the activity. One volunteer. Let me have. Okay, Marcos raised his hand. Thank you, Marcos. Okay, he is. Repetir las frases que estaba moviendo, verdad? In Correct. Okay. Yes. Listen. Is she getting up? Are they all sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Marcos. Thank you. Uh, let me have another volunteer. Another volunteer. Um... Ronald Rafael. Ronald Rafael, let me hear your you read the sent the questions. Hi teacher, good evening. Yes. Go ahead. I, I she getting I she getting get up getting get up. Are they sleeping? And Please, one moment, please. And. Hey, se me perdió la imagen. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ronald. Very good, Ronald. That's okay. Let me have Luis Armando. Ahorita, teacher. Yes. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, guys. Does anybody have any questions in regards to this section? Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do is move forward and we're gonna be looking at section number 5.7. Instructions, listen and practice. Notice the intonation as they say no, yes, no, and WH questions and select the correct intonation. Listen, please. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? Three, what time is it? Four, is it midnight? Five, what color is his t-shirt? 
Six. Are you from Thailand? One more time. One more time. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his T-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay, let me have one volunteer read the question and give me the answer. One volunteer. Number one, read the question and give me the answer. Excellent. Yanni, number one. Ronald, number two. Racing. No. Primero va a leer la pregunta y después va a identificar la respuesta. Are you ready a coat? Very good. And what is the answer? Rising. Rising. Excellent. Uh, go ahead, Ronald. Elsa va a ser número tres. Ronald, number two. It, what are you doing now? Falling. Falling. Elsa, number three. What time is it? Falling. Falling. All right, let me have volunteer for number four. Volunteer for number four. Yeah, teacher. All right, Liliana, number four. Racing. Uh, primero tiene que leer la pregunta y después identificar ah, okay. la intonación. Is it midnight? Racing. Rising, very good, rising. Rising. Uh, let me have Silvia, number five. What color is this t-shirt? Falling. 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 Good, good, thank you. Let me have Marcos, number five, number six. Hey, are you from Thailand? It's rising. 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 Perfect. Perfect. 5.8, thank you, 5.8. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de consultar y responder preguntas interrogativas en presente continuo. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre un chico y su madre con la cual se ilustra el uso de las preguntas interrogativas en contexto. Listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present. Can everybody hear? Questions. Can everybody hear? Additionally, we will practice a conversation which yes, illustrates teacher. how this topic is used in a real yes, life teacher. setting. Yes, teacher. Let's get started by listening yes, to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of 
present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Right. At this moment, do you have any questions in regards to the video? Questions in regards to the video? No, so far. Okay. So for this activity, what I would like for us to do is we're going to go over here in the discussion box, and I want you to give me at least five examples using the present continuous WH questions. If you already did it, I would like for you to share your answers with your group. Ready, let's go. At least five examples. Uh, Marcos, Jose, Fernando, Liliana, Jenny, Luis, Elsa, Veronica, Yesenia, Mirna, Michael, Carolina, Liliana. Do you need help? <laughs> Hola. No me trae, no me trajeron mis lentes, es así que me va a costar ver. Sí, no, está bien, este... Vaya, empezamos. 
¿Qué quiere Carmen? Oraciones creo que hagamos. No, Ajá. preguntas, preguntas. Ah, preguntas. Preguntas no y la respuesta. Ya, yeah, pero las preguntas en presente continuo. Preguntas en presente continuo. Oh. O sea, maestro. El... Yeah. el presente continuo es el mismo que el presente progresivo, son diferentes. Es el mismo, es el mismo. Present progressive. Okay, gracias. Okay, gracias, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, entonces podemos decirle, is your dying? Why? Why? Hello, Daniel. Hello, Ronald. Are you finished? Hello. Now, teacher, I'm working. Okay. Your birthday. Es con con W. Son preguntas. You will practice a conversation how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and a mother. Illustrate WH questions in context. Let's listen. Hi, Mom. What are you doing? What are you doing, Arely? What is your what is your friend doing? Is doing homework. What so, are Carla and Daniela doing? It is morning, so they are having breakfast. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo solo hice las preguntas sin respuesta. Eh. La primera is practice. Oh, esta noche tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Yeah, yes. he's practicing English at night. Está bien. Está bien así. So, sí, solo que English es con mayúscula la palabra. La, la E. La, la E. Ok, gracias. Sí. At night. Sí, entonces, ¿verdad? English. English. Ah, uh -huh. English. Thank you. Thank you, Ronald. Otro ejemplo, otro ejemplo. Otro sería. She's. Como ella está, wash it, sería lavando. Ajá, washing. Wash. ¿Cómo se escribe? Wash. Wash it. ¿Cómo sería wash it? De lavar. Wash. W-A-S-W-A-S-H-S-H-I-N. Wash. Y en ejemplo, washing. Correcto. Ella está lavando uh, los platos o. Oh, Ajá. Uh -huh. She's washing. Dice, dice, ¿cómo sería? She's washing. Vamos a ver el traductor. ¿Qué pasó? 
ayúdame. Si te ayuda, mamá, fusilo. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo yo quiero ayudar? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Yo, yo, yo. This washing the that yeah. this sería. This washing day. La dice. Vaya, faltaría otra. No sé si está correcta esta. They is playing soccer. Ellos están jugando fútbol. ¿Sí? sí, yo digo que sí. Yo puse esta. She is. No, yo creo que es they are. They are. Creo que they is. Sería, she is washing the edition. Okay. She is washing the dishes. Y está lavando los platos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo creo que la... Bueno. Faltaría... All right, all right. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Read the examples, please. One volunteer. Read your examples, please. One volunteer. Read the examples, please. I can teach you. All right, Samuel. Uh, number one, I am writing. Estoy escribiendo. Ah, sí, pero tenían que escribir preguntas. Did you write questions? Yes. Mm, they are playing soccer. No, no, tienen que ser preguntas. Preguntas y respuestas. Ah. Vamos a repasar. Vamos a repasar. Conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm... Okay, so allí está la primera pregunta en presente continuo. ¿Qué estás haciendo, Steve? What are you doing, Steve? Okay, so allí está una pregunta en presente continuo. I'm cooking. Ah, why are you cooking now? ¿Por qué estás cocinando ahorita? Otra pregunta en presente continuo. Why are you cooking now? ¿Por qué estás cocinando ahorita? Presente continuo. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Ahí está otra. What are you making? What are you making? Presente continuo. Pizza. 
Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, so in the dialogue, vimos tres, now, let's try tres preguntas. Tres preguntas. What are you... What are you doing? Why are you cooking now? Okay, so, um, e, what are you making? Two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat los angeles 4 a.m what's victoria doing she's sleeping right now what's victoria doing Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's. So I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hey guys, uh, I forgot, I gotta take the attendance. Cuando diga su nombre, por favor, diga presente. Se me había olvidado la asistente. Uh, Are, Andrea is absent, okay. <laughs> Today is the 24th. Um, Areli. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina. Carolina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Cindy. Present. All right. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana. Elsa. Present. Fatima. 
Fernando. Present teacher. Present. Jose. Present. Camila. Liliana Abigail. Present. Liliana Yamilet. Present. Luis. Present. Marcos. Present. Michael. Present. Miriam. Miriam. Absent. Okay. Mirna. Present. Okay. Ronald. Present teacher. Thank you. Samuel. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sandy. Present. All right. Silvia. Present teacher. Okay. Veronica. Present. Good job. Shomara. Present teacher. All right. Jenny. Present. And Yesenia. Uh, Yesenia. Jenny. Okay. Yesenia's absent. Okay. Este teacher Yesenia está escribiendo en el chat presente, pero creo que tiene problemas con el audio. Oh, Yesenia. Ahí okay. lo estoy mirando. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, Yesenia is up, is present. Yesenia is present. Present. All right. Let me go ahead and hear some of your examples. Uh, for example, somebody said, what are you watching? What are you watching? Okay, that's good. That was... What, what are you playing? Okay, Carolina, very good. What are you playing? What, what are we learning? What are we learning? Okay, very good. What are you playing? Okay. What are we learning? Okay. Perfect. What time do we leave? Mm, what time do we leave? What leave. time do we leave? Esta es presente continuo? No. No. I don't how ENG. So uh, it's not present continuous. Okay. Another question. Eh, Samuel, para que la pregunta sea presente continuo, tiene que llevar el verbo to be y el verbo tiene que ir en ing. Si no tiene el verbo to be y el verbo en ing, no puede ser presente continuo la pregunta. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Thanks. It's ok. Another example. What are you watching? What are you playing? What are we? What's playing? my mom cooking? 
excellent. What's my mom cooking? Very good. Another example. Who is watching TV? Who is watching TV? Good, good. Ah, por ahí vamos bien. Another example. Who is listening to music? Who is listening to music? Good. What are Good. you waiting? What are you wearing? Perfect. Okay. Good. Good. Another example. Where is your birthday? Uh, repeat, please. Where? Is your birthday? Where is your birthday? Mm, esta es presente continuo. Where is your birthday? No, teacher. No, it is. No. Y se pregunta where or when? When. Ajá, uh -huh. when. When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Ok, pero esta no es presente continuo. Another example. Is someone knocking the door? Ah, ¿quién está tocando en la puerta? Yes. Who is knocking at the door? Perfect. ¿Quién está tocando a la puerta? Who is knocking at the door? Okay. Is what it are you doing? Uh, what are you cleaning? Que estás limpiando. Perfect. ¿Cuál era la otra? Hablaron a la misma vez. Is it raining? Oh, very good. Is it raining? Esta no es. Eh, WH porque empieza con is, pero si sí es presente continuo. Is it raining? Está lloviendo. Ok. La vamos a dejar porque es presente continuo. All right. Aquí hay muchos ejemplos. Repeat. What are you watching? What are you watching? What are you watching? What are you playing? What are you playing? What are we learning? What are we learning? What's my mom cooking? What's my mom cooking? Who is watching TV? Who is watching TV? Who is listening to music? Who is listening to music? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Who is knocking at the door? Who is knocking at the door? What are you cleaning? What are you cleaning? What are Is it raining? Is it raining? raining? Okay, very good. Any questions in regards to the present continuous questions? Questions in regards to these questions? ¿Cómo vamos a saber si es una WH question en presente continuo? ¿Cómo vamos a saber? ¿Qué lleva? Eh. Depende del verbo si va en, en ING uh -huh. y si empieza con WH. WH, ¿verdad? Y para ser presente continuo, tiene que llevar el verbo to be también. Y tiene que estar sucediendo. 
Correcto. Correcto. Tiene que estar pasando en el momento de hablar. Okay, guys, time's up. Please continue working on the platform and we see you tomorrow. Good night. Practice. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.